Hello and welcome to the 12th tutorial in the jQuery basic series and in this part we'll be looking at chaining. This tutorial assumes you've done part 2 if you haven't done already there'll be a link in the description to the source code or you can just implement it directly into your own project. So chaining. With jQuery it provides a method for you to chain together actions and methods. Chaining allows you to run multiple jQuery methods on the same element within a single statement. Basically until now we've been writing jQuery statements one at a time, one after the other. However, there is a technique which we just mentioned called chaining that allows us to run multiple jQuery commands one after the other on the same, same element. Another great thing about this, browsers don't have to find the same element more than once. They've already found it, they'll just apply the same action or method multiple times. To chain an action, you simply append the action you want to chain to the previous action. So you do action, dot action, dot action. And we're just going to show you with a simple example. Just going to open up our web browser in the text editor. First of all, you want to add a button which will be clicking to activate the chaining methods we're going to call or we'll put the text button inside here then have a div i'm just going to put hello for the div and now if you just go to your javascript file what you want to do is dollar for jquery we're going to press selector so it's going to be button dot click so when the button is clicked we will run this function And then here we're going to put dollar quotation marks. We're going to select the div tag dot CSS. So we'll affect the CSS. Affect the color property. Turn this to blue. And then we're going to append up a slide up action on it so I'm going to do dot slide up we're going to specify 2000 milliseconds then we're going to put a slide down action so to append you we do dot slide down 2000 semicolon and now if we just run this in our web browser click hello as you can see first it turned it blue then it did the slide up action and then it did the slide down action. That's it for chaining. Obviously you can create things that are a lot more dynamic, a lot more complex, but this is a simple principle of chaining. It just allows you to connect multiple actions together. In the next tutorial, we're gonna be looking at the get functionality within jQuery. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at sonarsystem.co.uk. The email will be in the description. You can also comment on this video or directly just message us via YouTube. All the required links for source code will also be in the description. And as usual, thanks for watching and have a nice day.